Hello everybody, Lord Thunder here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster. Let's get on with this thing. We're searching for Terra now. Well, I'll finish the end up. But Terra's all the way over in Zozo. Oh, here we go. Side attack. I love it. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oops. Oh well. Flawless victory. I seem to be moving faster on the overworld than... Okay. Waiting for... There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Say cheese and die. Oh, that is so cool! Attention, everyone. This is a drill. <laughs> so cool. Okay, no more games. Good job, Locke. And this, I believe, is Jidur. Mithril Vest. Alright, I could use one of those. I could use two of those. I could use three of those. Alright, everybody's at optimal equipment. You know what? I should sell some stuff while I'm at it. And it would appear that I made an error, because the ninja gear is actually gives me higher defense than what the Mithril Vest did. But, you know what? Whatever. It will do. Okay, I think we're good. It's onward to Zozo. Oh, already. Uh-oh. Not good. Don't sting me, bro. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. How'd that feel? Buzz off. Okay. Onward to Zozo. Zozo is Zozo. -so. It's a town of thieves and liars. A wretched hive of scum and villainy. Haha. -ha. Missed. Sure, I miss. All right, here we go, Zozo. Interesting. It went kind of went from kind of a jazzy theme to uh, more of a techno. I like I like the the sparking light there. That's that's a nice touch. <laughs> Zozo Pub. The second hand of my watch is pointing at thirty. Obtain an ether. Door is rusted shut. Okay, it's kind of like a techno rock type of thing, I guess. Ow! 
I'm gonna have to ask you guys to calm down just a little bit. Ugh, critical! Say cheese! I love the, the cone of light. Uh oh, okay. Celeste, it's gonna be your time to shine. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Right now! Before that dancer girl gets her level 2 magic on. Okay, I think we're good. I think she's, she's dead. No? Why did I do that? Oh, nice. I don't know what I'm doing leaving Air, uh, Edgar hanging down there. Oh! Oh! Oh, crap. This just took a sh very sharp turn down not good lane. Whew. Okay, definitely not good. Okay. We're back. We're back. No response. It's just a corpse. This place is dangerous. Be careful and don't do go doing anything stupid like trying to jump between the buildings. And this poor gal is just laying here dead on the ground. That guy doesn't even seem to care. Six, ten, fifty. Da -da 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 yeah, the clock's glowing, that's kind of cool, too. Chainsaw! Alright. We're about to turn Edgar into Chainsaw Charlie. Okay, uh, Celeste, I need, I'm gonna need you to go like- No, I did- I, I'm so used to Y being to skip turns. I need to get rid of that. The Veil Dancer. <sighs> Say cheese. Because it knows level 2 magic, and that is a very bad thing for my health. Should have used the chainsaw, but I wasn't screwing around on that one. Uh-oh. Hill Gigas. Okay. Alright, Edgar, let's see how broken you can be. Ha! Instant death. Girl, nope. There's definitely not one on the top of this floor, so don't bother checking. Alright. I'll just go up there for the view, then. Okay, this is starting to feel very routine. Ah, oh, how annoying. Okay, that was cool. 
I definitely amped up the visual on that one. Oh, you wanna play that game? Okay, we'll play. Oof. More than I thought it would. Maybe I, maybe I'm not getting double experience because usually at this point, hey, no cutting, get in line. Usually at this point, uh, I did it again. Keep pushing this because I'm used to that being to change. Hummy, hummy, hummy. Ha ha. I missed. Why do I keep missing? Hmm. Easy. Now, usually, uh, <clears throat> Sabin knows. Fire Dance, or also known as uh, Rising Phoenix at this point. We forgot to go up here. Ah! Okay, I think we can... Stole eye drives. Oh yeah! The auto fight, I don't even have to uh, re-input the Blitz command. He just does it on his own. Fantastic. No, he. I stole from him. He stole back. He couldn't take. Couldn't take anything. Hmm. Brigands Club. I think that's that's the one. Change of steel into mug. Paired with the Genji glove, that allows me to attempt to steal twice in one turn. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, shh, Nikes. You know, Celeste, that's the exact reason why I brought you along here. The dog distracted me. And now Locke is dead. All right, Lock, let's get you back up. Okay, that was bad. Hi, Potion. Ah! Not again! Yeah, see, it's when, they, when they're by themselves, they get extremely dangerous, I think. Okay, Celeste, you want to hurry up? Go high potion. Nothing to steal. Yep, it allows me to steal twice in one turn, which is nice. Twice is nice. But it came with a price. Because Edgar is down now. I probably should have brought more Phoenix downs than what I did. Alright, oh, no. Celeste, I'm moving you to the back. Edgar, you and Sabin. Actually, all of you move on the back. Sabin's Blitz do the same from the back row. Edgar's Tools do the same. Locke's got a long-range weapon, and Celeste has her magic, so yeah. Burning Fist. Okay, I, I believe I've been trying to say that, uh... Usually by now, Sabin would be at like level 15, and he'd know Rising Phoenix, or, uh, Fire Dance, as it's known in the earlier versions. Why did you throw a wrench at my head? 
Don't you know that hurts? Just for that, I'm gonna take your picture. Oh, you know, it would... I can see the reflection down there. I say it would be, it would have been a nice touch if uh if the character's reflections also popped up. Oh, he vanished. You know what? You can't hide from this. Hmm. Okay, we got a boss fight coming up, so let's make sure we are squared away. What brings you here on this fine day? Do you need to get through here? I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to be in the way. I'm not very strong in a fight, and I'd hate to fear the. I'd hate for there to be any trouble, so why don't I just let you pass? Yes, why don't you just let me pass before you get hurt? Why did I- I didn't want to do cure. Oh, I stole a, I stole a jeweled ring. Nice. Hadouken! That's what I wanted to do. I don't think this fight will last very long, as broken as we are. Ah, nope. Incorrect. Oh, I'm still on auto fight. <sighs> what am I doing? I'm slacking and slipping here. Walks like doing almost nothing. What's with that? Pal, you signed your own death warrant the moment, the moment you messed with me. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. He didn't even get to the point where he started throwing stuff at me. Twist. <laughs> I have to imagine that's for Edgar. I mean, sorry. Hmm. hmm. It's a green beret. Increases my strength and agility and stamina, but decreases my defense, evasion, and... Defense. You know what? What the heck? He was kind enough to give me that thing, so... Hermes Sandals. X-Potion. It's terror. Terra? She's frightened. Who are you? This girl is your friend, I presume? Terra, is she alright? <clears throat> so her name is Terra. Terra. Interesting. Hmm. Her life is in no danger. She simply used a power she didn't know she had, and it overwhelmed her. Now her body won't listen to what she's telling her to do. As for myself, I am Ramu. The Espa Ramu. That doesn't mean there's anything stopping us from living in this one. Espas come in a variety of forms. My appearance is similar to your own, so I can live here as one of you, without fear of anyone discovering the truth. Why hide the fact that you're an Esper? 
Humans and Espers are incompatible creatures. But my grandma told me that humans and Espers once lived side by side. Of course, that was only a bedtime story. Oh, that was no fairy tale. That was the truth. Humans and Espers used to live together in harmony. At least until the War of the Magi. Took place long ago, Espers fought humans who had been infused with magical powers extracted from other Espers. After that meaningless war had ended, the Espers fashioned a new realm in which they hid themselves. They feared if they, that if they remained, it would only be a matter of time before their powers were targeted again. But then one day, about twenty years ago, humans stumbled upon the entrance to that hidden realm. Humans who knew of the Espers were powers. Thus began the hunt, for Gastol, the leader of the men, knew that he could use the powers extracted from us to create an invincible army. As soon as we realized what was happening, we erected a massive gate and forced the humans out. Those who were captured are still being held in the Empire's Magitech Research Facility, being drained of their powers. I narrowly escaped, and escaped that same fate, and now I am here with you. He seems to have calmed them down a little. I called Terra here to me when I sent that she lost control. She responded to that call. So Terra's an Esper. No, she's a bit different from us. She looks like she's in pain. She's afraid of what she is, and that is a painful thing. Once she understands her true nature, the fear and doubt should subside. The others of my kind who were trapped in Gestal's Magitech research facility may be able to help her. If you can get inside that facility, you sure will find them. The Magitech research facility? Your people are in there? I escaped alone, abandoning my friends and hiding here like a coward, but I fear I can remain here no longer. Gaston's methods are mistaken. He knows only to drain an Esper's power by force, but that's not the way to unlock our potential. Only when we become Magicite can our strength be transferred in full. I'm going to turn myself into Magicite so I can lend you my strength. Magicite is an Esper's power in its purest form. When an Esper dies, Magicite is all that's left behind. But... Ding. You're really gone, aren't you? He turned himself into Magicite. He gave his life to help us. If our power is used for destruction, the skies will darken and life will fade from the Earth. You must stop the Empire. There must not be a second War of the Magi. Siren. Kirin. Kate Sith. Talk on the way back down.
So the Empire's draining magic from espers. Celeste, was all that true? I was asleep when they performed my infusion, so I don't know for sure, but I've heard rumors to that effect. I suppose we must find a way to slip into the Empire. We be yeah, we best split up again. We still need to beef up our defenses in Narshi. That would indeed be wise. I'll go to the Empire. I know it inside and out. But alone? Don't worry. I'll go with her. I think Locke's got the hearts. Might I advise going in greater numbers? Yes. You might. The Figaro brothers are coming with me. Hidden treasure. I think you just got the hots for little Miss Celeste over there. Bum, bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Okay, we're gonna give you Rabu. We give Celeste Karen. And we have Edgar Siren. And we're gonna give I wasn't done. Ah, I did it again. I am slipping here. Stamina plus one. HP plus ten percent. Okay. I can't wait to see what these summons look like. We are done with Zozo for the moment. Alright, they are even kind of giving me a preemptive strike. Oops. Do it, Celeste. Shocking! But not very impressive damage wise. Okay, let's see what Kieran does. 536. Holy Aura. Siren. Hmm. Not bad, not bad. One more. Dang, Sabin, you are just a freaking knee kick. <laughs> you are just a powerhouse of destruction. Okay. I believe next up we are going to get to here. Setzer's theme. <clears throat> I can't wait to hear this one. This is one one of my favorites. Nope. Not there. Setzer's theme is one of my favorites. Maria? Hmm? Sorry, I mistook you for someone else. Still, you could pass for Maria in a heartbeat. Oh dear, we, re we are really in trouble this time. like Maria. That man must have dropped this. 
That man is the director of the troupe that performs at the Opera House. Everyone just calls him Impresario. He's been in a tizzy ever since that letter arrived. Dearest Maria, I've decided to take you as my wife, so I'll be coming to kidnap you. The Wandering Gambler. Who is this wandering what's-his-face? Are you born on a farm, son? I love I love this music. There's that reprise. That's why I love this. That would be Setzer, owner of the world's only airship. If we had that airship, we'd have our way into the Empire. Let's set up a meeting with this Setzer. Indeed. But for now... I think we're gonna do the whole opera segment at another time. Not really a big fan of... Uh, the fine arts. As far as, like, opera goes. Never was a huge fan of the opera scene, even though it's one of the most... memorable... segments of this game. Anyway, we will be doing that at a future date. Uh, for now, I am Lord Thunder. This has been Thunder Gaming with more Final Fantasy VI Pixel Remaster. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give that thumbs up. And subscribe for more content so I can grow my channel. Thank you for watching.